you're about to see is real. All video and audio was captured at an actual paranormal investigation. Nothing has been manufactured or staged. On the season finale of Local Haunts, the team continues their investigation of Renda Broadcasting, the home of 99.9 .9 Gator Country and Light 96.1. The first part of the investigation was focused on education, as spiritual medium Pamela Teresa taught guests from the radio station about the world of spirit. The second part of the investigation was about gathering evidence to validate the presence of earthbound spirits in the building. And now they return with the intent of helping the lost souls that chose to dwell in this local haunt. Hello and welcome to Local Haunts. I'm your host, Steve Christian. Joining me as usual is my co-host, spiritual medium, Pamela Teresa. Also joining us is Dax Slade. And from Gator Country, joining us is Steve Sutton and Michelle with 1L and Brian Jordan and guest Michelle Stallions. And on cameras, Kevin Remington and Savannah Huffingham. And the investigation starts right now. On our previous investigation, we discovered that the building was quite haunted with many earthbound spirits and that the energy difference between the top and bottom floors was vastly different and we knew that those that dwelled downstairs were darker and heavier. And we saved the best for last. But we came with a purpose, to help those that were stuck here for whatever reason, and help them make their transition. Oh, sweet. Get in the group. Here comes your part two downstairs, or part one. <laughs> Okay. Where's Steve? Oh, right oh that's a wall. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're pretty much finished here. Bam! Oh, that's brilliant. I love that. That's what the housekeeping doing a great job. That's oh, freaking awesome. Lord. I thought it was I see it on that. Yeah. Right Someone's going to come up on Monday and go, why is there a smudge on that? <laughs> yeah, but please tell me you caught that. It's all on tape. Oh, that's <laughs> yes. That deserves a second look. Frequent viewers of the show have become aware that poor Savannah has a knack of running into things while we shoot the investigations. But in her defense, it is very dark while we shoot. But this is priceless. Okay. Where's Steve? Oh, right oh that's a wall. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Where's Steve? Oh, right oh that's a wall. <laughs> oh, that's a wall. <laughs> oh, that's a wall. <laughs> All foolishness aside, Tonight's investigation was going to be a mission of mercy and help. There were a lot of earthbound spirits in this building that needed our help, and it was time to get to work. Uh, we're back here at Gator Country downstairs, in what we thought would be the, the heavier um, part of this investigation, because when we were here last time upstairs, a few of us felt a lot heavier, darker presences down here. In still, the is. <laughs> still is. Still is. The last time we were here was down there in the, what is the cells area, down there. Mm -hmm. I think when we came in, they've all kind of gathered down this way for a staff meeting. Our <laughs> spirits down here. <laughs> so, um, that is our conference room, by the way. We're over. Right here? Yeah. Okay. Awesome. <laughs> I have a feeling there's at least yeah. two right there. <laughs> Coming up on Local Haunts, Steve and Pamela help lost souls cross over. That's him. He knows he's dead. Um, Steve. Mm hmm you want to come feel already presence? Now you know nobody's been sitting in this chair right here. They've been empty for at least four hours. Okay, so at least you should not hours. feel the warmth of 
of ener energy of anything coming off of it. Now, if you remember how we slide our hand through here, I already got permission. You feel? Yeah. So we have a gentleman right here. Definitely. Yes. Yes. And uh, he has stomach cancer, actually, was his cancer. Stomach, which is weird, it's not like stomach cam cancer I felt before. Hmm. Um, very interesting. Can you get, okay, I know nothing, I'm not a doctor, but can you get some sort of illness that would mess up your DNA, your physical DNA, that could create like crazy cells that could then become cancer? So maybe if you already have the um, gene in your physical body, because it's, you know, cancer is genetic, it's a lot. Certain illnesses and such can, can make it. Mm. We should do a AVP session here. Okay. But he's African American. So he was in the hall and he came. Alright. Let's try to get some validations here. Sure. Do you still feel your pain? Hopefully before this night's over, you will um, make your transition to heaven and you won't be in pain anymore. We're here to help you. Do you still feel your pain? Feel the shift? Did all, have y'all been feeling the shift in here? Like the lightning? I'm actually watching his lights also twinkling. It's free. He's getting there. If you can show yourself for the camera. He just transitioned. It feels much less oppressive in here. Yeah, he just transitioned. Well, I'm glad for you that you're not in pain anymore. I'm going to call him Mr. J. I didn't get anything in the pictures. Yeah, I didn't think you would. You can get one over here, though. Just a female. Right here. Go ahead and try pictures over there. Right here, next to the decks, okay. Right here in the seat. Mm -hmm. She had something in her chest. Yes. It wasn't a heart attack. This was a sudden. Were you here last time we were here? I believe so. And she wears there you go. a lot of pink. Hello. You should see pink. Mm. She changed the color of her hair. Okay, that is very common for females to do that. <laughs> but her... Um, There's pink right there. Yeah, there you go. Here are the pictures that I was taking. These were taken one second apart from the same angle and same lighting. You can see the movement of spirit.
And just as Pamela said, we did in fact catch the spirit in pink. Coming up on Local Haunts, guests of the investigation reflect on their experience. You could feel the room lift. Wow, she had a water accident. She's wet. That's why the hair color keeps changing. Uh, drowning? Boating accident? Um, Skiing. Yeah. <laughs> yep. She's got my hand tingling big time. Mm -hmm. She, um, she actually... I wonder if she... Um, she has an older brother who's still here. I wonder if her skiing accident happened right here on the street behind the station. I don't know. Um... I don't know. No, it's it's something went wrong. It wasn't murder or anything like that. It was an accident. Mm-hmm. It was really an accident. I think she uh, struck a dock or something. She's in her early twenties, but I could see where she had college. She was going to college. Baby face. Mm-hmm. Want to show Steve some of these pictures? <coughs> Excuse me. All right. See, I know how to drown because I've done it myself. She definitely drowned. But she did get injured too, though. She impacted something and then knocked herself out. Yeah, but she was drunk. You'll see. Oh, wow, yeah. Pink, just like she said. Huh. Wow. That's pretty outstanding. This is something you can, anybody can do. Right. Just take a lot of pictures of a. Uh, of the same area, don't change anything in the shot. That way you'll eliminate things like lens flare, you know, flashback. Mm -hmm. uh, before we started shooting, Kevin took some shots down this hallway here and he caught somebody you know, shooting down the hall, so. We're here to help people and send them on their way. My DVP session. So now that you are aware of what happened to you, are you ready to move on and go home? She was talking about somebody named Ernie somebody is important to her. You said she was recent? <coughs> Something in the 1970s? Okay, yeah. Between, in, in right about 80s. Okay. 80s-ish. So, but she was also, uh, as a matter of fact, because I can telepathically communicate, I don't even have to have my eyes on or anything. Mm -hmm. She was talking about um, E.T. Okay, it was 82. Okay. As a popular movie. You too and Poltergeist. Maybe Netflix is that Poltergeist. Very impressive movie knowledge. Yeah, that's what he does. Yes, you should see his movie collection. It's how he do. My empathic hit on the throat starting to get eased down a little bit, so she is kind of shifting up, you know. It's time to go to heaven now. Go through the light. Everything's safe. You don't need to be here anymore like this. And plus, you can come back whenever you want to see your brother. He'd probably like that. Exactly. Mm -hmm. But now he's, he feels unsettled still because he, he can, he's not been able to spiritually really connect to you. And once she does move on, she'll come back with a universal knowing that can help him. Mm -hmm. With our lost girl working her way through transition, we decided to relocate and find more earthbounds to help. As I paused in the hallway because I felt the presence of spirit, the camera caught this EVP. What's back here? What's back here? What's back here? What's back here? There's not physical words, so that's why sometimes I sound kind of dumb as far as what we're doing. Because what we do, I don't think there's physical words to explain it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, everything's energy. Everything. That was my first time um, as someone transitioned. It was strange how you could feel it. Because mm -hmm. so, I was feeling it, I was like, oh, it's not hot in here, I can breathe better. And then you said that, so I was like, oh, yeah. cool. I'm not going yeah. crazy. No, yeah. no, 
Now, this is this is why I would always poo poo the ghost hunter shows because I'm like, whoa, this is sacred work. This is not a gang. We do not hunt people. We help them. Mm -hmm. We're we. That's that's what those of us who were put here like this. It's what we're supposed to do. I guess the impression I got off of those shows was it was you know a bunch of guys that had some you know some electronic equipment and it was just kind of poking the bear mm -hmm. not yeah, to really exactly. help them just to aggravate them and irritate them and right. get a response when you know obviously they want help yes well steve used to on. have people you know ask him that's fine you went in there and they say they want help why didn't you help them and he says well i didn't know how to yeah until he met pamela to teach him how to she taught me how to You'll get the knowing that you've got communication. You'll feel the lift as you felt in there. You're doing God's work. So you you were saying you actually felt Mr. J transition, right? Yeah, yeah. You could you could you could feel the room lift. Because, you could feel this yes. this lack of you know binding and it's oppression. It's the same feeling when you are in a room and a child is born. You get that feeling mm -hmm. of that heaven just kind of open the doors and you have many in that space. And the, the lifting and, and of that, and the same thing when somebody does leave their physical body and do fully transition, they're anxious to go. You feel that same lift, and it's the same thing. So it's in a way, um, even though they left their physical bodies, they're still here. So the heaviness, is, if their people are still here, so so this work really is to help heal members of the family that are still linked to their loved one, and they know. The, the, so sometimes when you have people that have been murdered, which is sometimes common, being murdered or or car wrecks, that's where people will stay earthbound for a little while because they're trying to. It's not exactly natural, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's like a sudden thing, um, and the family members are not at peace. They for for more than just the fact that maybe it's not been resolved, they haven't had answers because they can feel there's something off. And um, I've, I've actually had people contact me going, I know that my sister is not transition. I know she's a ghost in my house because she's walking around and I can see her and she's moving shirts. It was over the phone and um, I said, just just tell her she can go now. Go, go to your mom. It seems the earthbound spirits in our midst were listening into our conversation and we're starting to understand for themselves how they can transition. I said, just just tell her she can go now. Go go to your mom. She's right there because her sister wanted to stay with her. They were really close. And so she, the same thing like you experienced. And I wasn't even there, but I, I told her I'd never physically met the woman. And I said, go into your bedroom. And she's like, yeah, that's where she is. I said, sit down. I said. I described her bedroom and I told her where her bed was, where I, so to establish trust. I said, I know what I'm doing here and I'm not violating, do you give me permission to see your bedroom? And she's like, yes. I said, this is where that picture is and this is what's on the picture. That's, and so she was like, okay, this is real. She's clear the frick up in New York. I'm here in Jacksonville. Anyway, so she sits on the bed. I said, she's sitting next to you, you can feel her. I said, put your hand out and feel her. Okay. And um, I said, so as she started transitioning and going home, she could feel a lift. But up until that point, it had been many, many years. She'd been there for 22 years. Coming up on Local Haunts, guests of the investigation reflect on their experience. At the end of our investigation, we sat down with the guests from the radio station to get their take on the investigation and with watching Pamela do her thing. Eye-opening, enlightening, um, a couple little make the skin on the back of your neck tingle a little bit moments. I experience uh, things that never really have experienced before that I, my, I thought myself I was, no, that didn't happen, that didn't happen, but yeah. It happened. Oh, wow. It's hard to put it in words. Um, it definitely answered some questions of some things that have happened, and 
confirmed with some of my coworkers here that, oh my gosh, we all did hear certain things and, and it matched with what uh, was being said. And you actually got the feel of the earthbound spirit. Absolutely. I have some OCD type things pertaining to one of the studios and yeah. 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 I can't wait to talk to Pamela about the bottom of the stairs. Yeah. Because there's something that happens to me every day when I come up. Oh really? And it's right there where she mentioned it, right at the bottom of the stairs when you go up, right after you come in the, in the door. Right. I feel that heaviness that she feels. You know, I, I think I'm op more open now to things that I've always sort of believed in, but been like, well, come on now. So um, I definitely have a different view. As, as I have this new awareness, things make sense now. The things that I've seen here and heard here make sense. I didn't realize it was such a busy place. It had to have happened. You know, we didn't all imagine it. If you or somebody you know would like to book Pamela for a private or group read, contact her at mediumintheraw.com or call 904 238-4359 and reconnect to lost loved ones.